hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled donald trump jr versus the view beyond incredible you guys i'm excited for this if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about joy you've worn blackface because he's an outspoken Listen, this guy. Is not a MAGA to rally, them create okay? ma All right, well, there you have it. This is not a MAGA rally. In this clip, you're going to see Joy Behar and Whoopi Goldberg absolutely lose it when a few people in their crowd clap when Don Trump says some things that they don't support. Now, I watched this 20 minute clip of The View in 2x speed. Highly suggest nobody does that, and you don't have to do it. So I'm going to show you the highlights in this. But more importantly, at the end, Don Trump Jr. uses a social strategy where he calls out a few things in the past of Bayhart and Whoopi Goldberg as a social maneuver. So I'm going to show you what happens to this, but also break down the social maneuvers so you can understand what's going on. So let's start this clip here. If we're going to have the conversation about the outrage okay, about can whistleblowers, we do, can we stay you on work that? with CBS. <laughs> You work with CBS and yes, to ask a whistleblower I'm gonna who came ask up with a story question. that's I'm gonna ask one question. This is not can CBS. we stick to... No, but you work with them. Stick, it, that broke can the we morning. stick to... All right, Don Jr. used two techniques right there. Did you catch either of them? One was very simple, and one is actually very advanced. So the first one was just that he continued talking while Whoopi tried to talk over him. In any interaction, when somebody successfully stops you from speaking by talking over you, they display higher status. Yeah. They came in and had the mm -hmm. authority to get you to stop. Now, in an interaction like this, what a lot of people are talking over people, you're going to have that happen. But the difference is if you actually have something to say, a point to finish, and you let someone talk over you, it looks very weak. If you're mm -hmm. just trailing out, maybe you're repeating yourself and you were done anyway, it's a little bit different. But you heard Don there continue to talk with authority and he wasn't backing off. He even stopped and said no for a minute to let her know that he wasn't going to be talked over. Now, the second thing was more subtle. So Whoopi was not only trying to talk over him, but get his attention by talking over him. So what Don Trump Jr. did was he addressed Bayhart to the right after he was done talking. So it's like two different times that you're not respecting Whoopi Goldberg for trying to get the attention. Number one, you're just talking over. Number two, you're having a side conversation. And what it does is it forced her to continue to repeat herself. Yeah. And every time a person repeats themselves trying to get the attention of the other person, they are actually losing status. Wow, so the more that goes on, their status drops, even when they inevitably get the floor. It's something that's very advanced, but something that was used right here. <laughs> What she asked him the question just because if we start getting off because one no, 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 no. See, by the time she gets the floor, she's lost so much of her momentum or gusto versus if she would have been able to talk over Don Trump and stop him yeah. right there and then go into hers, she would have had a lot of momentum and her point would have landed with a lot more power and impact. It's out there. I read it in an article. I've been reading it for a week. I saw it on the Drudge Report. Wow, you guys, this is very, very funny. If Whoopi Goldberg could climb over on that table to don trump she would have done it just to get his attention this is really really embarrassing on her part and let me know your thoughts on this particular clip and let's continue watching you guys by talking over him so what don trump jr did was he addressed Bayhart to the right after he was done talking. So it's like two different times that you're not respecting Whoopi Goldberg for trying to get the attention. Number one, you're just talking over. Number two, you're having a side conversation. And what it does is it forced her to continue to repeat herself. And every time a person repeats themselves yeah. trying to get the attention of the other person, they are actually losing status. So the more that goes on, their status drops, even when they inevitably get the floor. It's something that's very advanced, but something that was used right here. What she asked him the question, just because if we start getting off one no, 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 no. See, by the time she gets the floor, she's lost so much of her momentum or gusto versus if she would have been able to talk over Don Trump and stop him right there and then go into hers, she would have had a lot of momentum and her point would have landed with a lot more power and impact. It's out there. I read it in an article. I've been reading it for a week. I saw it on the Drudge Report. Like, this is not some secret, but to then say, 
Because it's Donald Trump Jr., because he's an outspoken Listen, guy, a mega rally, okay? made, why was there no outrage? Okay, did you see that right there? That is very telling. Didn't that seem kind of weird and out of place? Listen, this is guy. not a MAGA rally, okay? Made, why was there no <laughs> she says this is not a MAGA what? rally because people clapped wow. when Don said his piece. So they obviously have fans <laughs> of Don Trump in the crowd, right? But they're so used to having wow. such a one-sided crowd that, What's listen to I'll play it back. On? Not that many people clap. But when they do, it's so surprising to Bayer that she has to actually <laughs> stop and address it. And Whoopi Goldberg does this later in the clip, too. They've never had a crowd that's not yeah. completely biased to their side. And I think that's probably normal on shows like... Wow, you guys, this is so funny. I have never seen the view lose their mind until this moment. Donald Trump Jr. really, really got to them. And oh my gosh, you guys, let me know what you think about this. What we go back is totally shameless to be calling the audience children just because they clapped for Donald Trump making a good point and she's totally against that point. This is so hilarious and also very, very unhinged. Let me know your thoughts. Leave it in the comment section down below. And you guys, let's wrap this video up shows like this the old home field advantage but it's funny to see how much it bothers them that they have to call it out multiple times because it throws them off so much i read it in an article i've been reading it for a week i saw it on the drudge report like this is not some secret but to then say because it's donald trump jr because he's an outspoken Listen, guy not a rally, okay? made, it's not a very big clap it's like three people clapping and she loses it by a vicious left that's running oh, a one-sided champion <laughs> All right, there goes Whoopi. Because there's people in the audience mm. clapping for a point she doesn't like, she calls everybody children and claps like she's some authoritative teacher over everyone else and they're so out of line because they're clapping for a point. This is the second time this happens and they just lose their mind. Look at it. Behart loves it. <laughs> Stop yourselves. Stop yourselves because you're clapping for a point that she doesn't like. Nice. That whatever outlook I, I, I mean, but let's, let's not kid ourselves. But the name has been out there for five days. But that doesn't make it right. But nevertheless. Nevertheless. But, but Abby, nevertheless, you guys, nevertheless like, ABC, ABC, ABC is right, right now. Right. Now, one of the things that I don't think Trump and his girlfriend did well is she tries to talk over him quite a bit and they just didn't find a good balance so much of the time they're both talking so they should have communicated before and said okay I'm going to lead this part you're going to lead this part one person is just going to lead and the other person is going to kind of come in and fill when they need a little help but I don't feel like that communication was good there it definitely wasn't a nice yeah. one-two punch in my opinion you can see these little mm -hmm. examples here where I don't think it was helpful to have two people even though they were on the same side I don't think it was executed that well we don't want to have a country like that do you understand we, we, we've all we've all they don't done like things the no, no. The wait, wait, wait. So See, but Barry actually had to stop her himself we've all done things that we regret i mean if we're talking about bringing a discourse down joy you've worn blackface Whoopi, no, you I said that Roman I'm Polanski. Sorry, I'm sorry, and don't. You, if you, you said do that it, Roman Polanski. It wasn't rape, rape when he raped a child. So let's, oh, let's okay. talk about. So yeah, no, let's things. talk. Okay, so that was the big tell right there. When he ended that line with "Let's talk about serious things," it shows he didn't have some grandiose point or story. He just wanted to get those two talking points out there. Why? because it discredits Whoopi and Behar, just like in the court of law. Anytime there's a, a witness who has a credible testimony, you go after their credibility by pointing out things they've done that makes you question that. It's just like when people are talking trash, right? Maybe at the workplace or your friends and family, when someone talks down to you, one of the easiest strategies you can use to put them in their place is to discredit them by making fun of them. Maybe they're wearing a little shirt that's a little bit funny or a little bit tight. And you say, oh yeah, that means a lot coming from a man with a kid sized small shirt on why don't you keep it down over there it's a classic strategy and it's very important because if people talk down to you or make fun of you i don't care where it is in, in the workplace in the schoolyard with your friends and family it lowers your status when you're not able to defend yourself and come up with quick and snappy things to come back and put them in their place so they don't want to talk down to you. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one and I really enjoyed every minute of this video. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.